What the heck? Minisform is doing Oculink graphics card docking stations now? Oh, what the heck is Oculink? This is a 7600M and it's tiny little ultra portable box. Everything is all self-contained power supply, the whole nine yards, but it's connected via Oculink, which is more than twice as fast as Thunderbolt. Okay, it's twice as fast as Thunderbolt on paper, but when you take out the overhead and everything else, it is actually legit. It's like PCI Express Gen 4, four lanes. And even if your computer doesn't have Oculink, you could shove it in a M.2. Let's unpack. This is the MGA1 product model, the AMD Radeon 7600M XT. And uh, I sound a little weird because I've hurt my back lifting giant servers from server launch videos. Ow, my back. This is what you get in the box. It's so cute. Three USB type A, five gigabit, one HDMI out, two display port out, a 65 watt charging port, and that is, it's USB four, Thunderbolt compatible, it's not exactly Thunderbolt, and then an Oculink port, physical switch, and your power input. Everything is self-contained. You get a power brick, <laughs> and you get a server grade Oculink cable. Uh, the Oculink cable is not really certified for this type of a use. Listen, we've all basically died of neglect at this point for the thing that comes after Thunderbolt 3. You might say, wait a minute, we have Thunderbolt 4. Nah, Thunderbolt 4 is Thunderbolt 3 with a little bit of window dressing. Technically, the Thunderbolt 3 spec is so old that it only used to require two channels, two data channels, up to four data channels. It was designed with eight data channels in mind. Thunderbolt 4 requires four data channels, but it doesn't change anything about the data rates or anything else. There is a caveat there. There is a, it does have a minor data transfer increase that is really just a footnote slash edge case that doesn't apply to most people. If you're using Thunderbolt 4 for um, mass IO storage and it doesn't have the actual USB 4 update, you're still only gonna see like two and a half gigabytes per second transfer. But USB 4, on the other hand, which is Thunderbolt compatible, solves that problem and has a better DMA engine, mostly. Well, I'm glossing over a lot of details, but you can actually achieve about four gigabytes per second when you have a platform that has USB 4, such as my GPD Mini here. And, uh, yeah, and so that's a lot of fun. But this Oculink is twice as fast as USB 4. It's, it's amazing. Not all GPD stuff has Oculink ports. Uh, there's also the Atom Man from Minis Forum, which has a built-in Oculink. You can add Oculink to something that is not meant to have it via a USB adapter. So like if you can live with the bottom being off of your B-Link mini PC, you could shove that in the bottom and then you guys, this has got two 2280 M.2s. And then yeah, you could run this cable out to your dock and then you've added a dock to your B-Link, which seems like madness. And yet it works. With this connection, it's like I have a PCI Express by 4 connection to my 7600M external GPU, and that Gen 4 link is not gonna bottleneck very much. If we're using Thunderbolt 3 or 4 or USB 4, it does bottleneck a little bit. But with this connection, we'll get a higher frame rate and better performance. I know crazy people that are running a 4090 off of a PCI Express style dock, and that is an option. So like you could use something like this. This is an Oculink to PCIe adapter. But notice it requires external power. There's an adapter so that you can run an external ATX style power brick with this. And then you have external power for your GPU as well. But this socket has to be powered from an ATX. And it just, it turns into a messy, messy thing. And this is also not the first mini graphics card dock that I've taken a look at. Uh, I found that one of the really attractive features of this kind of a dock over a PCIe style dock is this travels well. This can stay in the hotel room while you go visit other things. And now I've booted up my laptop and it's connected over here. And yes, this 7600M performs like a 7600M. The thermals on this are actually managed quite well. There's a lot of air that comes in from the top and is exhausted out the back. It works really, really well. Now, because I've only got Oculink connected to my mini PC and Oculink doesn't supply power, the battery is draining on this machine. So you also wanna connect your 65 watt connection, or if you have a laptop that needs more than 65 watts, you'll still have to connect your power brick. Now, obviously, if you did do something crazy like a 4090, that is going to bottleneck significantly. 
7600 m 7700 is about the right ballpark for four pci express gen 4 lane it's interesting though the way that the performance is left on the table because if most of the game assets and everything that it needs can actually run from the gpu like if it doesn't have to use the pcie bus to retrieve a lot of assets then generally you still benefit at higher resolutions even though the pci express link is not as fast as those gpus are really designed for at 1080p and you know really high frame rate gaming is where you're going to see the most losses from the lack of bandwidth but if you wanted to play you know cyberpunk at 80 fps at 1440p assuming that your, your gpu was capable of that the fact that it's only four gen 4 lanes doesn't really matter too much now that doesn't quite translate into gen 3 because you know that's half as fast and so it's a little bit more of a hit the game has to have even more of its resources living on the gpu and that's you, you cross a point there where even if you've got 24 gigs of vram the interface just can't keep up and so it depends on the game it depends on a lot of factors and this gpu from minis forum in case you didn't know off the top of your head it's eight gigs eight gigs of vram well that's been a quick look at the mga1 graphics docking solution from minis forum it works exactly like you'd expect. If you don't have Oculink or you don't want to fool with Oculink, of course you can still use the USB-C type connection. That works just as you'd expect. A little slower, but it does work fine. The other mini PCs that I've reviewed, whether they have a built-in Oculink dock or not, from Minis Forum and others, also work well with Oculink. So if you think a 7600M will do it, you have the option. But don't be afraid to do something like this. If you're gonna have a setup that never ever moves, something like this is cheaper but this is way less headache and probably a little more reliable than cobbling together something with this and then 3D printing something that'll hold a power supply and just having that type of a mess sitting on your desk. Uh, uh, it's not fabulous. But anyway, it's been a quick look at Minis Forum's Oculink graphics dock. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions or you wanna see something amazing or just play with it or whatever, hit me up in the forum. I'm signing out and I'll see you there.